Dame Dondell is doomed. I have doomed it. Yes, you have, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> is Pixie from ABG, also known as Animal Black Girls, and I want to wish y'all, and on behalf of me and Phoenix, a very wonderful Christmas. I kind of got dressed for the occasion. I got like this Christmas sweater that I found, and I got a little Christmas hat that I also bought, but <laughs> I hope you guys did have a good, or or are having, sorry, I can't talk, um, are having a good time with your family, you got all the presents that you wanted, or you know, just spend time with the people that you care about, because that's what, that's what the holidays are all about. But, since all that pleasantry is out the way, you see how I had to stutter? I had to get back into it. <laughs> well, that pleasantry is out the way, let's get back to Nino Kuni. Nino, Nino Kuni. Wow, I don't know what this injury is. I tried this like three times already. I I'm keeping this in. <laughs> But what happened in the last part was that Roland actually tra uh, betrayed us, technically, and not really because he was just going as a double agent to get the uh, the King Pass that Evan needed so we can get through Ding Dong Dale secretly because, you know, we about to go and fight Ding Dong Dale finally. So we about to, you know, not really fight. I don't we, we're most likely going to fight, but we're going to try to get them on the peace treaty. So if you guys are excited for this part, please hit that like subscribe button down there below. And without further ado... Let's actually land this thing now. I know to y'all, it's like, oh, you recently played this, but I'm like, it's been a hot second since I last played. It's been like a couple weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, we had to do this way because we wanted to avoid all the soldiers that was posting out front. I remember. I remember. <laughs> oh, so we, yeah, we're getting through with the... Hmm. So if we put the Mark of Kings just here... See, it was called the Mark of Kings. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> Like, I knew the gist, but Tidy. didn't know the names. Tidy! Kingsway, here we come! Okay, let's go! We love sneaking into a, uh, a kingdom. Almost said, I could have said country. It's kind of... Yeah, it's a country. Yeah. Look at him. I'm trying to be all sneaky sneak. He's not really being sneaky sneak. What? So why is... Oh yeah, he's the king. <laughs> he was the prince. Ow! Oh, I'm about to ask why he covering up. He was the prince of this, so everybody knows what he looked like. <laughs> I forgot, I have my necklace. My necklace all hidden. Ding dong dell. Ooh, it looks... Take out that statue, though. It, I was about to say, it looks pretty good. He erected that statue real quick, didn't he? He only been king for like, I would say a couple months. Wow. So this is Ding Dong Dale, huh? It's like something out of a picture book. Hmm. It feels different from when I was here last. Well, you Whoa. was also running from getting assassinated, so. <gasps> the town appears peaceful, and yet one cannot help but notice a distinct lack of Grimalkin. Hmm. They all jump ship and say so for safer shores, I shouldn't wonder. No. Oh, look at, look, look at Roland. Look at Roland. Roland looks more like four of my guys. Assassin's Creed look. Look at him. <laughs> okay, unlikely. Monsinger has had the sensory, sin, sensory under close scrutiny ever since the coup. If they didn't get away fast, they didn't, they didn't get away at all. That means they probably... I heard they all been moved to some kind of underground slum somewhere. Although I don't know how much more... I don't know much more than that. I just gotta slow down for these people. Blimey. That sounds miserable. All right. Well, if there are no Grimacoon left to speak with, we should have to see what the mice and rats have to tell us. Only if you and Roland will agree not to remove your hoods. You are both too well known here for comfort. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> it's not exactly a, it's not exactly the world's best disguise, but I guess I'll have to do for now. Roland! I don't even know that's you! <laughs> Hey, listen, you're complaining. It was the best we could wrestle up at a short notice. Evan needs to hide his tail, because, like, I can still see his tail peeking out from his uh, his little hood. Like, they could have given him, like, a longer robe or something. Come on now. Huh? What's that you say? Life under King Monsinger? Well, I don't know what it's like for humans or Grimokin, but for a mouse like me, things are completely different nowadays. I mean, when I was younger, we were picked on all the time. My mother told me I should never trust a Grimokin, or even become friends with one. I think that that's what all mouse mothers told their children back then. 
Still, I don't want to grudge against King Le Leonhard or anything. That's all in the past now. It's time to move on. Okay, we love a oh we love a queen. Yeah. King Monster's policies are putting mouse kind first at last. They're giving us all a real boost. I suspect the Grimmican aren't too happy about it at all. But still, they have their time in the sun, and we all suffered enough. I think it's only fair that the tables have turned. It's amazing to think how different things might be now if King Lionheart had fall fallen ill and passed away when he did. What about King Evan? Y'all ain't worried about King Evan? Like, I'm pretty sure everybody heard that. They were like, ooh, King Evan. Something up with King Evan. He on the run. Yeah. Life here in Ding Dong Dell has changed beyond recognition since King Mousinger took over. I mean, King Lionheart always said he was committed to equality, but I never really trusted him. You wouldn't either if you've seen the way the Grimmel King used to treat us mice. Now we're finally getting what we deserve, and it's all King Mousinger's doing. He's our hero. Mm, obviously the mice and rats like King Mousinger, which makes sense. I'm not sh shaming them for that, if because I they've been bullied all their life by the Grimmel King. It sort of seems that Mousinger's rule is no unwelcome thing for the majority of the mouse kind. Mm -hmm. and, wh and why would it be? They're finally getting pro professional, fresh, ugh, not professional, profession, whatever. Treat me after all these years. Hmm. So let me see if I got this straight. It used to be the mice and rats who were discrim discriminated against, but now the tables have turned and the Grimmelkin are on the receiving end? Hmm. It seems so, yes. I... Tit for tat, eh? Folks ain't never so different as they are the same. I... I never knew that things were so hard for mouse kind. Well, because you don't really worry about it. Mm. I knew nothing about my people. Nothing at all. And to think I called myself their king. Well, you was a prince, but I'm gonna let it slide. Oh, Evan. Well, Evan looks like he's about to cry. I like to hear what the Grimmelkin have to say for themselves, but there aren't exactly many around to ask. Well, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Well, now, look at this gang of idlers. If you're not busy, can't you give me a hand? Come here, will you? I don't want to give you a hand. I just started this game. Why am I gonna help you out already? Um, um what exactly is you need your help with? Oh, so you were listening, were you? That must mean you're keen to help. How lovely of you. Mm -hmm. Uh, not really, but... <laughs> oh, well, uh... Don't be shy now. Here you go. A sardine sandwich. Mm -hmm. What's this? <laughs> what? It's one of my famous sardine sandwiches, of course. I need you to deliver to the Grimmican called Shadow. There was, well, an incident, shall we say. He's probably hiding somewhere. Poor lad. But he won't ha But he won't have gone far. He's a cat fellow, black with a long tail. You can't miss it. He's always waggling about the place. He's paid already, so you just need to get him the package. <sighs> Flip, Mon. What are we, errand boys? Yes, we are lofty. Yeah. We're always errand boys. Whatever you are, deliver the goods and come back here, and I'll see that you're rewarded. How does that sound? Something tells me we don't have much of a choice. All right, we'll go and find Shadow for you. Eh, too many cat folk, eh? We'll still spot him, I'm sure. Right, he should be, honestly, real easy to, so, you know, spot out. But you know me, it'll take me five freaking ever to find somebody. Um, boy, you in broad daylight. Come on now. At least put on a hood. It's not gonna do much, but put on a hood. Wow, that's certainly a long black tail. Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to be shadowed by any chance, would you? Ah! No! I wasn't doing anything, I promise! Have mercy on an honest Grimmelkin! Howdy do! No need to panic, lad! We're just a sardine sandwich with little boys in it! What? A sandwich? For me? Yes. Yes, Crumbles asked us to give it to you. Oh. Well, I... Phew. I thought those awful soldiers had caught up with me. Well, you weren't really hiding, but you know, it's yes. a cat thing where you like, if you... If they think you can't... Like, they can't see you, you can't see them, but... Just whatever. Thanks ever so much! <laughs> okay. I want to ask you something. How how are things for Grimmelkin and Ding Dong Dale these days? Visits from abroad, eh? We don't see many of you a lot lately. What with the borders being closed down and everything? Oh yeah, all those shoulders outside? Yeah. Things have been more than a little rough for we cat folk ever since Monsinger took over. Why? I was only out buying a sardine sandwich and those shoulders started looking at me as... Askance! I had no choice but to run, really. 
So you came in here without even taking what you brought with you? Yeah. Of course I did. We've been chased out of our houses, driven into the slums. They even pulled the soldiers at the sewer entrance to watch our comings and goings. We only risk coming up for food, but it's not worth getting nobbled over. Golly. So that's why there are no Grimmelkin in town anymore. Oh. What I really wanted was some nice fresh fish, but I want those sandwiches is the next best thing, I suppose. Huh. <sighs> anyway, I can't stand around here talking to you. Those soldiers could be ar along any minute. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Perhaps I'll see you some other time. Goodbye. You can come to my kingdom. We accept Cracky. all kinds. <laughs> Cracky, suppose we better get back and see our crumbles, eh? Crumbles, crumbles, crumbles. Oh, I'm almost past you, girl. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome back, my lovelies. Well, did you carry out my little errand? Mm-hmm. Yes, we found Shadow and gave him his sandwich. We sure did. Oh, wasn't that just lovely of you? Ever so sorry to impose upon you like that. Now, I said I'd give you a little reward, didn't I? Well, here you go. Oh, I myself got a sardine sandwich. What? You're kidding, ain't you? We just delivered one of those. <laughs> you won't be complaining once you had a bite, my dear. My sardine sandwiches are the best in the land. I mean, it gotta be, because I don't like sardine sandwiches. I don't like sardines. You'll be back for more before long. You'll see. Oh, that cheek. Oh, the cheek of it. Caw. I think it's more like that. Caw. The cheek of it. Mm. So the Grimmerkin are all living in an underground slum, and there are guards posted at the entrance? Shadow said it was in the old sewers, didn't he? And if he made it out, there must be a way down there that the guards aren't watching. Blimey. Imagine, being trapped down there like that. It must be like a prison. We can't risk being spotted by the guards. If we're to visit the slums, we must make our way there undetected. I gotta sneak now. All right. All right, come on. Y'all got me messed up. Y'all, I'm about to sneak. Head through the old well to the slums where the Grimkin have been living. Oh. Oh. I remember these sewers. Yeah, I remember these sewers from the first game. The old well. Ah. They made. God, it smells musty as anything down here. Oh. I suppose it stands to reason. This part of the sewer has been untended for decades. Unattended for decades. It sure has. Oh. Oh, a puzzle. Huh? Oh my god! It's a what's his name? King Tom! What's this? Oh. I, I think it must be a statue of one of my ancestors. These bra braziers, or I don't know, brazzers, bra braza, I don't know. Something tells me they're important. Why don't we try laying them? Hey. You remember the Kindle spell I tell you back at the factory, right? Yeah, I sure do. That's so, oh my goodness, King Tom. Ancestors, we're old. Number 15 is current to the base of the brazier cast candle on it? No, 15. Fit, so they all have 15 on it. I sure, I guess. Oh. Well, I'll reset him. Oh. oh, so they really were important. And then the numbers card into them must relate to how long they say live for. So we need to try and let them all before time runs out. Huh. Nice. Whoever came up with this was the, quite the cr tr oh was quite the trickster. Could almost have been Zip himself. I remember doing that. That was kind of brutal for me. Cause I was being down for that. I remember. Oh, I just want to save. I just want to save. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sounds like someone needs our help. We will have to get this door open. <sighs> God, more possess? Oh no, lighters, lighters, Come candlestick on. holders. No, no, how do you say it? <laughs> yeah, you do.
something! Uh, uh, Alrighty. Uh, Got it! Bada bing bada boom ski. Did I do all of this? Eh, no, that's too much. Okay. Good thing there is no fall damage. Oh. I hope whoever her calling for help is alright. They better be. Oh, God. No, they're not. They're not alright. They're not alright. <laughs> no, go away. Go away. Oh, my voice got very squeaky for that. You leave her alone. Hide quickly. Uh, uh, alright. Here it comes. Roll it! I'm gonna have to boogie back on our cardi since we're good graces again. Oh! Oh! Also, they got a hot though! Queen of the Dawn, impeccable empress of imps. So I'm gonna. Hi, 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 If she stop moving. <laughs> I'm like, let me just shoot her now! Girl, I thought she was about to do something. Girl, I thought she was about to do something. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. I, I thought I was going to be... They told me it was too dangerous to go wandering around the sewer on my own. But I wouldn't listen, and look what happened. Yeah, you don't do that no more. Never mind that. What's important is that you're not hurt. Hey. What are you doing down here anyway? We're on our way to the slum where all the Grimmick can live. Hmm. Really? But why would anyone want to visit a place like that? Because I was once your prince. <laughs> yeah, they, they know you that. <laughs> well, if you're serious, you have to come and see me while, we're, while you're there. I need to give you something to say thank you for saving me. Bye-bye. I'm Moglet, by the way. Bye bye for now. But 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 wait! Just show us the way. She's gone. I hope she's alright on her own. Why couldn't she just show me where to go? Like, why she still make me go through the sewer? They really made them go in the slums. Mm. So here we are, the slums. They crammed all the capital into the little place. By Cracky, to say possible! Flippin' heck! And it's all musty and damp because of the sewers as well. It makes the old Sky Pirate Bay seem like paradise. Well, shall we chat to a few people and see if we can find out? They gonna say it's dusty, crusty, and all the musty up in here. <laughs> oh god, this ain't, this ain't it! This ain't it! Tell me what's yeah. happening. Monsters sometimes come in here from the old sewers, you know. You just see the hubble that springs up when they do. They're only small and we could usually fight them off, but that doesn't stop everyone everyone worrying that they might be poisonous or something. And some of us live down here have got kittens. What if one day a bigger monster happens along when none of us grown-ups are here to protect the little ones? Honestly, it keeps me awake at night. Yeah, girl, you gotta be worried about those kittens. Hey. Oh, it's, Mo it's Moglet. There you are! Thanks again for saving me! Oh, I said I gave you something to say thanks, didn't I? Here you go, a token of Moglet's undying gratitude. The swish fish. Oh, she got some eyelashes. Okay, fish. Thank you. Thank you, Moglet. But are you sure? Fish are awfully hard to get a hold of down here, aren't they? No, I simply can't take it. It's rewarding not to see you're safe and sound. Really, it is. Really? You're sure? Well, if you insist. Yeah, get girl, get, get back your fish. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Fish really are hard to get down, get here, you know. I owe you double now. My mom loves those, you see, and I've been trying to get my paws on one for ages. I want to surprise her with a reminder of what it used to be like back home. What happened to your home, if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> well, the soldiers came, didn't they? And they threw us out, just like that. My dad tried to stop them, but they arrested him and took him off somewhere. Dang! Holy. I'm girl, I'm actually real sorry to hear that. <laughs> 
All I want to know is when we get to home, Mom said we'll probably get tired of being king soon. And then things would all go back to normal, won't they? Oh. Well, you see. Oh. <laughs> Cause Moss Singer ain't not, ain't not. Who can I talk to? Who's the last one? No, I'm looking at the map all wrong. <laughs> Is this dude up here? Ever since King Moss Singer took over, the mouse soldiers have been allowed to do whatever they like. They harass Grimmica in the streets, even if they've done nothing wrong, and always find some pretense for punishing them. One of my friends was just arrested for shoplifting while he was queuing up to pay. It makes my blood boil. I can't say anything else. I can't say anything though. Otherwise, they'll throw me in the dungeons next. Honestly, most cats are afraid to even leave their houses these days. Aw, that's so sad. But that's kind of maybe that's. I don't even know how they were treating like the mice and rats before, but you know, things are even worse here than I thought. God, think Dundells run to the blessed core. But it's all because we used to persecute mouse kind. I'm sure there are plenty of people who are very happy to have Mouse Singer in charge. I, I don't condone what he's done, of course. A leader must be above petty vengeance. There's certainly no way we can form a union with such a kingdom. Let's get out of here. So what are you going to do? Get some vengeance of your own? Can we? Are we doing that? He killed my father and Nella. He overthrew me and stole my kingdom. And he drove all these poor people down here. Are we about to fight him? He has to. Let's go. He has to be removed. Think that they would never know peace otherwise. Oh, no. Tell me, Evan. Tell me. Tell me, boy. Tell me. Your father. Was he a bad judge of character? What? What? Think about it. Why would he make someone like Mossinger his most trusted advisor? But, but... Well, I suppose he... See, bro, I was uh... gassing Evan up and then rolling brought me right back down. <laughs> um... <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I think I need some time to myself. Man, roll it! We was about to fight Mossinger! No, I'm gonna let it slide, though. Do you have to step at the poor last one, mercy, you devil ye? Can you not see he plays Mary Hell with his little head? Mm -hmm. He'll be okay. He's a king. He's my king. <laughs> ah, well, there it is, I suppose. Roller's like, you know, I gotta get him some tough loving. <laughs> Master Evan? Ooh. Oh, because he's not being asleep with his, his tail. Oh, oh, it is you. Who is this? It really is. So you like me? Ratcha? Ratcha? Oh, gosh. oh. It's been so long. How are you? If she turn on, if she calls the soldiers, I'm about to fight. <laughs> Relieved to have found you. That's how. The guards were all talking about how you'd been spotted. Oh, I, I was petrified. See, he's not being slick. First. They are not being slick. You mustn't stay here any longer. King Mausinger has ordered your arrest. He can arrest me whenever he want to. I'll fight my way Thank out. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> but I came here to speak with him. As one ruler to another. Mm -hmm. I mean to forge a union between our two kingdoms. Yeah, it's going to be real awkward. <laughs> and how do you plan to do that? In case you haven't noticed, the borders are closed. And the entire country is cut off from the rest of the world. Mm. I, I know, but... Girl, why is you bringing down my plan? <laughs> this is my home, man. Can I ask you something, Ratcha? Is Ding Dong Dell better now? Are the rats and mice happy? I think I know what's bothering you. But there's no need to worry, my dear. King Mausinger will come to his senses. He always hated injustice. That's why your father put his faith in him in the first place. Wow, so you're telling me. Really? Sorry, I thought I heard a noise. So you telling me. So basically, this whole time, like, his advice, his Mausinger's first date has been controlled by, um, Doloran this whole time. Because we saw a little yes. bit in the last part. Because he felt the same. And that's why he gave mouse folk a chance, like no king of Ding Dong Dell had ever done before. Well, he made me his maid, didn't he? And Mausinger his chancellor. Mm hmm Such things were unheard of at the time. But Mausinger believes that 
He believes that my father simply used him in order to keep Mouse Kind under control. Does he indeed? Then he's sorely mistaken. Your father, near enough, pulled his mane out trying to build bridges between our two peoples. It's just a shame you have to take an old maid's word for it. Man, you don't know what that all. He told you himself. His diary would have been the next best thing, I suppose, but I'm afraid they laid it to rest alongside him. Is that right? Hmm, that means they go rob in the grave. Thank you, Ratchet. <laughs> You've been very helpful. Glad to be of service, my dear. Just you be careful now, you hear? I'll try to be, Raja. No promises. No promises. I'm gonna try. He's like, I'm back, y'all. Better than ever. Here he is. Hey. You seem a little calmer. Mm. Yes, I think I am. Sorry about before. Well, no. You weren't wrong, Roland. The last soon came to his senses. Right? Listen, all of you. I must go and visit my father's tomb. We better go grave digging. I need his diary. I need to to get to know him better. Sounds good to me. Let's get going, shall we? Lead on, Evan. But we gotta be careful because they just she just said like the guards know I'm here. So uh whatever. I don't care that much. <laughs> Crypt of the Cat Kings. Oh, so all of them all of them are in here. This is the Crypt of the Cat Kings, isn't it? I heard of this place. Hmm. Yes, and only one who possesses the Marker Keens can enter. Oh. Oh. All right, in we go. Wow. How grand. Father? <laughs> My father's possessions are all in here. His dark should be among them. I take King Lionheart's diary. Here it is, my father's diary. Well, what does it say, Mon? Um, let's see. Four score. Oh, look at that! Do you remember the day I made you my Chancellor, Mausinger? The other ministers, the other ministers were up in arms. Were up in arms. Though they dare not say so to my face. But I trusted in you. I could see the resolve in your eyes. The determination. You yearned to bury the differences between our kinds. Just as I did. Mm -hmm. I trust in you still. I know that you will continue what we have started. That's real petty. That you he killed you. Even though he's most likely under control, but that's still kind of messy. Not gonna lie, it's still kind of messy. He trusted Mousinger. He had complete faith in him. So, Evan, what are you gonna do now? I still wanna, like, can I at least punch him? Because he killed Mella, and he killed my dad, and he tried to kill me. I know he was under control, but I still just, I at least gotta get, like, a good one to win. Um. <laughs> I have to make Mosinga see the truth. I have to tell him what my father really thought of him. Sounds like a plan. Yes, assume we could get him to talk. Let's head back to Evermore. I have a feeling we need to wait for our chance to present itself. Okay, now we're going back to Evermore now. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh, y'all see my kingdom? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I've been working. <laughs> Oi. King Evan, sire, a letter from Ding Dong Dell. Who sent me a letter? From old Mouse Singer himself, is it? <laughs> I knew it was just a matter of time. Golly. You planned this, didn't you, Roland? He probably tricked it. <laughs> Play what now? Curse ye. You and your cursed scheming. Oh, come on. Oh, shush you. What does it say? 
What do you say? To his radiant majesty, King Evan Petty Whisker Children of Evermore. Tales of your great achievements continue to impress us. We'd be honored if you would visit us to discuss your growing union. Our border guards have been instructed to grant you free passage. Simply present the Mark of Kings as proof of your identity. Your eternal friend and servant, King Mousing of Ding Dong Dell. I know he lying with us. If I just show the Mark of Kings to him, I know he lying. He wants to make a trade for the Mark of Kings. Guess he knew it would make a pretty good burning chip all along, huh, Roland? Hmm. It is a trap, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can all see that. I don't think he's trying to disguise the fact. He knows we can't refuse. Sorry. For all his whistling words, Tuss not more of a challenge. And a present one, at least. At that. Hmm. But it does mean that we could finally meet with him face to face. Hmm. So it's off to Ding Dong Dell for a bit of the old international negotiations, is it? Tidy. I'll pack my... Mm, negotiation shoes. Lofty, you honestly did not have a mouth in that last scene, but I'm gonna let that slide. Nemesis, head for Ding Dundell Castle. Hey. Wow, coming back to the very place I was kicked out of. Oi! Oi, what do you want, eh? Wait, you're Evan? I mean, King Evan? <clears throat> oh, my. Please, you must begin my atrocious man manage your majesty. Yeah, 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 you better. King Mousinger has access to saying you the most cordial of welcomes. He wishes you to be informed that he awaits you eagerly in the throne room. Mm hmm I know the way. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Oh. Of course, I'll just, um, sit right here and carry on, uh, guarding. I know where to go. I used to live here. <laughs> I'll be so petty. <laughs> if I was, <laughs> if I was mm. It's been such a long time. Oi. Snap out of it, Evan lad. You got some mouse thing or waggling to get on with. Let's hurry up and get him to sign this declaration, shall we? Yeah, we don't got time to be reminiscent. Oi. I never thought I'd see the day where I come to Ding Dong Castle as a ruler of another kingdom. Right, because you thought it was going to be yours. But now look at us. Look at us. About to fall in straight into a trap. That's literally what this is, a trap. But it's okay, we'll take the All trap. Right. Time to be strong now, Evan. You need to show these people you're not the kid you used to be. I know. I'm trying to, Roland. I'm trying to, because they don't know who they messing with. I'm King Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum. <sighs> My heart's going to ten to the dozen. I can't he say his lie over him. <sighs> Let me stop off ahead. <laughs> now I'm ready. Wow, doesn't this place look scrum I don't think I want to use that word. <laughs> That's the first one that came out. Greetings. Your Majesty, it has been too long. Ah, and I see that Roland is with you. I must thank you again for exposing our susceptibility to infiltration so thoroughly, Mr. Crane. Yeah, it was a test. And did you bring the bring the Mark of Kings as requested? Don't panic, it's right here. Excuse me. King Mousinger, I have to come speak with you as a leader of one nation to another. <laughs> ah, yes. I must command you in your realm, and are you persistent? Having failed so objectively to rule at the first attempt, you will be forgiven for not trying again. Huh? Mm. I promise Aranella. I said I will build a kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after, and I'm gonna <laughs> do it! And you mean to do this by convincing others to sign your pathetic little pact, I understand? A fine plan for a naive child. Okay, Mouse Singer, you better cool it before we better start fighting. It's not. The Declaration of Interdependence is... Your Majesty, I must insist that you humor the boy's nonsense for not a moment longer. I'm like, if you're not humoring me, you ain't getting this mark of kings. Abandon this pretense. You do not mean to forge an alliance of equals. You mean to bend our kind to your will, just as your father did before you. Oh, uh, so is this one. Your motives are painfully transparent, but His Majesty will not consist such foolishness. Those days are long gone. Also, oh, is this one? Is this dude who's putting mm. uh, putting words into his? Putting words into his mind. Putting words into his mind. Whatever. There will be no pact. Mouse Khan will submit to the will of the Grimmikin no more. King Mausinger, please. We have to stop this before it's too late. I'll shut my mouth in. <laughs> I see now why you overthrew me. So much has happened between our two kinds. Yep. But we can't let it go on. Yep. We have to bring the hatred between our peoples to an end. We sure do. Or it's going to be a vicious cycle. And what would you know of hatred, boy? Of the taste of shame? 
of the humiliation of servitude. Yes, you were you were a servant at though. I'm like, boy, shame, humiliation. You literally, I literally had to. I was a runaway prince. That was kind of humiliating. The line of the Tildrums ends here Ugh. today at my hand. Oh, so he oh, ready to square up. Long I have waited for this. King Mouse Singer, deposit a Ding Dong Dell. Ding Dong Dell will never be yours. Never! Yeah! Come to Okay. It is time to meet your face. Okay. Okay, come on, boy. Yeah! <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. Dang, he got teleportation though. I didn't come here to fight him. Well, I kind of did, Evan. That's the problem. Today you die. Ding Dong Dale faces a brighter, better future without you. It's a dang shame because I came to fight. So <laughs> we two different people have right now. You're doing pretty good. No one's really dying for me because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, doing, I don't know how to dodge, so. And I don't block, so. Like that, I don't block. <laughs> I should, but I don't block, so. Okay, we only did it halfway. I didn't beat, fight him all. Through the whole thing. Humiliated by two generations of the same accursed. You know, it's just what I do. <laughs> Tildrum, and all of your kind. No, don't do all that now. We don't have to do this, Mausinger. Mausinger. I didn't come here to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Oh, I kind of want. I just wanted to get a little one to win, but you know, it is what it is. Come, your majesty. You cannot simply bow. Yeah, did anyone else do that? If you do not destroy these worms. Our people will never be safe. They will never be free. They'll never be free. Free? Yes. We must be free. But not like this. Don't listen to him. Right. Every last Grimalkin must Grimalkin. die. Grimalkin. I say it's like Grimalkin. Grimalkin. Come. Oaken heart. Come to me. Oh, God. Now we got to fight. <sighs> what was going on? Ooh. Oh, yeah. There you go. There he is. My, my king's oh. See, this is why we want to do this in the first place. Um, oh. He's the main reason why we want the, the, the Declaration of Independence. I had thought this tedium would never end. At last, it is done, Master. Wow! The mean. I hope you can forgive me, Your Majesty. Even I must confess to feeling some small pang of guilt at having encouraged you to slay your dearest friend and patron. Wow. But you should not have so readily taken my word over King Leonard's. Those who claim that blood runs thicker than water grossly overstate the case, my beloved fellow mouse. So he works for oh. him. I don't, I don't know why I didn't really think of that. I thought that he was him, not for him. In your precious king was too nauseatingly good-natured to betray you. To contemplate anything so base as manipulating you into keeping our kind in check. Mm-hmm. And more fool him, as you are so very easy to manipulate. Vermin. How could you? I can't see a rat. <laughs> How could I betray my master? How could you be so foolish as to ask such a question? And now, Lord Dolorin, I have fulfilled Lord my part Dolan. of the bargain. And my price was the kingdom, if you recall. I hereby claim it. So you want this kingdom? Why are everybody fighting over Ding Dong now? Yes, of course. You must be rewarded for your faith. Can you imagine service. he just ends it? Oh! oh. Oh, I'm not surprised. I, I literally just said it too. I'm literally not surprised. I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? No. Dalaran, what have you done to him? Oh, yeah. 
I have repaid the debt of a traitor, and not a moment to see. He like he 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 like he's somewhere else. Did you like take away his soul or something? This accursed kingdom. Not only was its ruler too pure-hearted to succumb to my corruption, even his closest aide proved immune to my advances. Oh, okay, so he couldn't even get Mulsinger or Leonhard, so he had to go for somebody else. In the end, I was forced to settle for this contemptible worm. I have wasted so much precious time. I have wasted so much time, don't leave me alone! But at last, my plan is complete. What a pity you will not be present to witness Wait, its so glorious that's fruition. Wait, so all the king's bong except for mine. Essentially. Ooh, this is not looking good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh cannot. Has it really come to this? Yeah, unfortunately. Wait, you needn't do this alone. We'll fight him together. We <sighs> can. <laughs> <sighs> oh, where are we? Oakenheart, the wolf stop the woods walker, woods walker, woods walk. Um, let me stop. Oh, oh, he's here with me. Whatever them flowers are popping out, it ain't good. Avoid the pollen stuff and bash them blooms. Okay, I wonder why he's beginning to run, but pop off, pop off, lofty. I'm counting on. Oh, so they produce high high yeah. makers. Okay. Egg makers. All together now. Okay. I need your help. Okay, let me stop blocking on. I need all these. I need all of them. I need all of them. I need all you guys. Okay, come, come, come to me. Come to me right now. Oh God. Okay, form, form a circle, form a circle. Do whatever you guys do. It. Thank you. I'm counting on you. What do I do? Oh, oh, wind power, wind proof barrier. Okay, for the tornadoes, that would have been helpful two seconds ago. Let's see if I can I stop them before that. Oh, to me, I can't protect you quickly. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. Where you at, Mulsinger? Mulsinger, where you at? Oh, oh my god! Everybody can come in the circle! Everybody can get in the circle! This is kinda odd, Mulsinger. Okay, you're not as bad, you know? You're not as bad no more since you kinda feel bad for getting my dad. Maybe. You know, it's not on the bridge. I got my two hits in that I wanted to do, so we good. Oh my god! Wait, uh, I kinda wanna- I kinda- I got it. Never mind. I got it. <laughs> Honestly, Okahar was just annoying with his jumping in the air with all his wind. Like, he need to chill with that! Okahar, it's not that big of a deal! Jesus! So, we good now, Mall Singer? I mean, we got a couple good hits in. Um... You killed my dad and my, like, my guardian. No. No, uh, Ding Dong Dell is doomed. I have doomed it. Yes, you have, but we ain't gonna talk about that. For my king's bond to have been plucked from me so easily. I was not fit to rule. I was not strong enough. You sure wasn't, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Take my life, Tildrum. It is your right. You must avenge your father. No, Mousinga. There will be no, there will be no ne needless death. And this kingdom is not doomed. It will rise again. And it will do so because its people work together to rebuild it. Cat and mouse. Hand in hand. My father trusted you. You cannot fail him now. So I'm gonna let it slide that you poisoned him to uh, poison him and then try to kill me. So I'm gonna let that slide because he was under the influence of evil. <laughs> He 
He believed in me. And I... What have I done? That was a good. My dearest friend. Aww. You... Your Majesty. I... Be still, Mousinger. I forgive you. Mm, okay. <laughs> Our two kinds have borne each other ill will since time immemorial. The rift between us could not be healed so easily. Yeah, I get it though. I get it. <laughs> it was a distance that could only ever be closed one step at a time. I think I'll just be having more of a petty reaction. I'm like, I guess I'll forgive you. <laughs> one day, we will stand together, hand in hand at last. All thoughts of oppression consigned to history. And you, Mousinger, you will bring this about. Mm -hmm. But, Your Majesty, why would you... Oh, why would you trust in one who had failed you so utterly? And whose hand you... <laughs> I always trusted you, old friend. And I always will. Man, he got real good faith in him. You see far further than I ever could. You are a maker of plans, a doer of deeds, a true ruler. Yet there remains in you a lingering shadow of doubt. Doubt in others, born of doubt in yourself. A king must learn to trust his own judgment. Mm -hmm. A king? You mean that you, you still think me worthy? Who better to rule over the realm I love than one who loves it just as fiercely? Yeah. If it please you. Your Majesty. Like, who else is going to do it? Emma's like, I got my own kingdom run. <laughs> it does. And now, I must be on my way. When next we meet... I would have you tell me the tale of a kingdom made great by its wise and benevolent ruler. Yes. Your Majesty. Honestly, if I was Monster Singer, well, I'd Monsinger. be crying for days. <laughs> I leave Ding Dong Dell in your hands. Do not fail me. Become a true king. Watch over the land we both love so well. I will not fail you, old friend. Are you telling me Elvin could look like this when he get older? He was like, that's my boy. That's my son. King Mausinger, I humbly propose that a pact be made between our realms. Will you sign the Declaration of Interdependence? Like, it's just like, he was like, um, so excuse me, um, I know you had a temporary reunion with my dead father and all, but you want to sign my treaty real quick? <laughs> it is what your father would have wanted for our two kingdoms to stand as one. And so it shall be. Thank you, Your Majesty. Let us work together to make a better, more peaceful world. Yep. You have come far, son of Leonard. Leonard? Why is it Lionheart? Oh, God. I, take me I'm out. Take me out. <laughs> you. And I will make Ding Dong Dell a kingdom where all races can stand beside one another. The enmity of generations will divide us no longer. Mm -hmm. I salute you, Evan, Lord of Evermore. You know, thank you. 
We all leveled up. Hold on, let me save real quick. Oh wait, no, let me just do it now. <laughs> I'll just save when I get back to my kingdom. Let's go, Maw Singer. As for the Mark of Kings, I won't trust you keeping until such time as the matter of the Horned One has been resolved. You may have need of it. Oh, thank you. you. I was saying, that's actually really nice of you. Thank you. I hope that I'll be able to return to you very soon. Very good. Now, I am ready when you are. Let us swear our pact. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand, stand as one single land. land. Yep. They, that's all of them. Sweetie, sweetie. Sorry, I was like, I didn't even realize we got all of them. This, Jesus. And sure enough, Ding Dong Dell began to change from that day forth. He was real quick. <laughs> no longer did Cat Kind cower beneath the ground fear of tyranny. Instead, the Grimalkins stepped out into the sun and saw their brother mice as if for the first time. And the hatred that had divided them for so long melted away like so much snow. Aww. Well, perhaps not entirely. Yeah. But these things take time. People, unfortunately, just can't change overnight. All right, buddy boy, what's the next chapter? <laughs> the declaration's finished, Evan. You did it. I know. I'm very surprised we got this far. I'm surprised how short it felt, to be honest. With Mausinger too, which is something. Now some of their father, which is also something. But his king's bond was stolen, and Dolorin really does mean to resurrect the horned one. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all can so hear that. There's a dog barking real loud outside. ready to face him. I'm sorry. He'll overcome this trial, just like all the others. After all, if you can as good as unite the whole world, you can do anything. You're right. But it's not over yet. And this last part isn't going to be easy. I, could, I felt it. It wasn't going to be easy. Ooh. The time has come. Uh oh. All four king's bonds belong to me. Yeah. Oh, there's only four? Oh, yeah. Because Ding Dondel, uh, Hydro Hydropolis, Golpa. What's the other place? At last, I shall have my heart's desire. Why am I forgetting the other place? Whatever. I'm really am forgetting the other place. Uh, whatever. I, I'm not going to think about it too hard. Mm hmm. Something, something's not right. Yeah, we can tell that. You see those clouds coming in? What the flip's wrong with you, man? Pull yourself together! Chapter 9. To be a king. Oh! Oh! What is happening, Roland? What is happening, Roland? Roland! What? What the heck is going on? <sighs> uh, I, I'm okay. Boy! If, if someone you know has black smoke coming from them and they say they're okay, is, uh, I'm 110% sure that they're not okay. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, never mind me. Did you see that sky? Batu and the others went on patrol over that over that way, didn't they? How are you just gonna gloss over that? Gosh. Gosh. Yes, they did. How are you just gonna gloss over like yeah? You know, smoke coming from me. Eh. <laughs> oh God. Look at that. Well, don't you look at that mess?
very sea asunder. Wow. So I'm assuming this is a horn one, right? It's the only thing that's. Is that a kingmaker? If it is, it's the biggest I've ever seen. Yeah, because all the ones we've seen, they're just like a little pitch squeeze compared to that. God, that's the one I was thinking of. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Am I going to have to fight all of them again? You know, that looks like, uh, you know, Sailor Moon, the Guardians. And that's to the moon in the middle. <laughs> the colors match except for um the purple one. It's supposed to be like more like gold because like you know they could have switched because like you know some of the But whatever, we're going on this side. The horned one has returned to us at last. Why do we want the horned one again? Now the people of this pathetic world shall give their souls to bring my beloved Alessandra back to me. Oh, he's doing this for a woman. Is this for your girl? Because that's a lot of souls. For one person. And why you gotta destroy the why you gotta destroy the sea? Like I'm pretty sure your girl, whatever who that person is, you know, wouldn't want the sea sea destroyed, sorry. Oh, what is that? More citizens for my kingdom, more power for my king's bond. And with every soul I steal, the more glorious my realm will become. Mm, um, you gonna run out of souls soon, my guy. So yeah, chill with that. Are you going to erect like a barrier or something around our kingdom? <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we are, your majesty. Back in one piece. Near enough? Forgive me. I'm afraid we have some rather troubling news to impart. We sure do, but I think you probably guess what it is. Yeah, he's taking souls, right? That's all I've seen. That's all I've seen this dude doing. Taking people's souls. Rise of the Horned One. What did you guys say to me? Hmm. So the Horned One really has returned. I don't know who the one is. Yeah. Indeed, we encountered the creature in the skies above the Blackened Isle. I recorded it on the Memolith. You need to see this. Memolith. Dang, this is some good quality, though. It appeared along with a large landmass, which we only assumed to be the continent that was was lost when the Horned One was sealed away. Hmm. It's enormous. Huh? Look, it's Longfang. Not just Longfang, lad. The whole blessed lot there. Brian Schemer, Bastion, Oakenheart, too. It's a veritable Kingmaker co Conference. Co Kingmaker Conference. But there is something different in their bearing. These are not true Kingmakers. They are... Fit facsimiles, facsimiles created through the power of the stolen king's bond. I would assume. Well, whatever they are, they create some kind of barrier to protect the horned one. Indeed, in the moment that the barrier was raised, the fiend began absorbing a succession of spheres of pure light. What the spheres of? What could they be? If you will give me just a moment, Roland. Skate moments after absorbing the first of those spears, the horror one began to expel a great cloud of black creatures. Yeah, and they went flying off in every direction. Luckily, not too many of them headed this way. Ugh, they look horrible! No. Now, as to the nature of these spears of light, it is my belief that they were souls. Distancial of the very essence of life. The horror one is absorbing the souls of the people of the world. 
and transforming them, enslaving them. Oh my! That's awful. You remember what Dolorin did to Vermin? Ver Vermin? I didn't say his name. When the life was leased from him, when he became little more than a walking corpse. Oh, he's like a soul. This is what happens when a person's soul is stolen. And you're saying that ha that's happening to the people all over the world? Even as we speak? They're being turned to a the living dead? I didn't know we were playing Walking Dead! How can we turn them back? Well. I cannot say for certain, but there must surely be a way. Mm -hmm. Huh? How come there are none around these parts as, as have their souls taken hostage, I ask ye? Hmm. I think we may have Lofty to thank for that. Is no, it me? I ain't doing nothing, Mon. Nothing, I swear! You didn't have to. What's the one thing our nation has that the others don't anymore? That's right, a kingmaker. So everybody's gonna come to my kingdom. So it's just gonna be so it's gonna be refugees, <laughs> refuge. The bond between you and Evan is still strong. That means we're protected. Look at Lofty. Yeah. Not bad, Mr. Kingmaker. Not bad. Uh -huh. In it, it though. Breaking the hat, little inkling might be something like that. Stan Cerise done it. Me being all important, and all of that. Hmm. But why has he done all this? Why would he be so desperate to bring back the horn one in the first place? He's trying to resurrect somebody. Somebody or something. Mm. I believe I can help you there. Who is you and why are you in my castle? Oh! Hey, girl. What's up? You're fine. You can get it. You can get it anytime, girl. You can get it anytime, girl. Your Majesty. You must forgive the intrusion, Evan. Circumstances being what they are. Not at all. You're very welcome. No. Now, on the subject of who Dolorin is and what exactly he might want, I believe I have some information that may clarify things a little further. 2,000 years ago, he was the ruler of the nation known as Alagora, and he made a pact with the Horned One. Though his was a small and insufficient kingdom, by enlisting the aid of such a kingmaker, he thought to make Alagora great, to bend his singular evil to his will. Well, dang, okay. Hmm. That tells me what Ni Neil. Niall told us back when we first learned about Dolorin. But things did not go according to plan. Instead, a terrible tragedy befell the realm. Far from growing great, it disappeared from the world entirely. It is believed that he was unable to contain the fiend's all-consuming corruption, and that the entire continent of Allegora, Allegory? 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 So the pond was spiritual away to the place between worlds. Hmm. Whatever happened, Dolorin would appear to be determined to revive this vanished land. What? But why? Why he want to bring it back after all these years? I don't know, but I think I understand why he needed all those kings bond now. Without them, he couldn't hold to control something so powerful. Well, whatever he we was inkling as to why or not, I said the Swaz wish is more a little close to coming true. Twist a kingdom sized chunk of land appeared alongside that great creature. That's for certain. But if Dolan got what he wanted, why would he be stealing everyone's souls? He needs followers, subjects. The more powerful he grows, the more powerful his kingmaker grows in turn. And one who ambitious stretch as far as enlisting the aid of such an utterly evil being, being will surely not be satisfied with merely recovering his lost realm. No, now that he has the means at his command, it would seem he intends to bring all the people of the world under his dark domain. You know, just like, you know, uh, like the first one with the uh, dark seeker dude. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> So he wants to take over the whole world? Well, we can't let him. We won't. Yeah. And how exactly are we supposed to stop him? You saw the size of that mountain of spikes he called his kingsmaker, didn't you? Hmm. There is one possibility. Mornst- Ah, Master! Sorry. Sorry, you know that, baby? I know Master! The sword to say I've sealed away the Horned One's evil all these centuries ago. Moonstar always see like everything. It don't even the dark gen. There you go. Moonstar always see like everything. It don't even matter now. <laughs> Alas, its whereabouts are no longer known. But there is yet time. The great evil gathers its forces still. If the sword can be found beyond its reach, its, its full strength, we may yet stand a chance. Also, they call this. They, they are they calling the sword or call it a wand? Because now if they call it a sword, Moonstar is universal now. But how do we find it if nobody knows where it is? It's probably changes because Evan uses more of a sword. Whatever. <laughs> how 
How indeed? Any tale two millennia in the making will most almost certainly be more fancy than fact by now, and surely no records from that time remain. Two thousand years, eh? <laughs> I think we might know where to find the records from that far back, don't you, Evan? Oh, um... Oh. Of course! The library and Gopa! Uh -huh. You're right, if anything from back then did survive, you can bet Bali would know, would know about it. Then it seems we have a plan of action. We'll inform the rulers of the other realms of all that has come to pass. We will rally them to the cause and make sure to take the horned one by force. You will seek out further clues as the most of whereabouts. All right. Very well. Until we meet again. Wow. Radios. Let's I'll have to see the old see gobbly wobblies. Oh God. Let's see what Leafbook says. Excuse me, Madam Bodley. There was something we were hoping to ask you. Mm. Hmm. Well, there's my little lovely Wobblies. Bodley has been waiting for you. What is it, dearies? Hmm. What's that now? Bookie Wookies from two thousand years ago? Ridiculous! Impossible! No such Bookie Wookies exist. How could they? Too long ago. Too musty. All falling apart. Yes. Oh. Oh. Then why am I here? Well, if they're not here, I suppose they won't be anywhere. No, no. Bookie Wookies? No! But Stunny Poos? Oh, yes. Just one. A strange, flat, cold, old thing from all the way back then. Really? Strange how? You'll see, pretty man. You'll see soon enough. Oh, yes. Bali will be in the Akali over there, dearies. Come along now. Oh, God. I forgot how little alliterations. Bali Wallies, Bookie Wookie Woos. Let me stand on the chair. Look, yes. Here, dearie. Strange, old, awfully old, silly old stone. Well, no. An own soul tablet, eh? Doesn't look like much to me. Hmm. Look closer. The engravings. There are no ordinary letters. At least none that I am familiar with. Is it some kind of code? Hmm. Thought of that, silly girl. Tried every trick in the book. No good, no good, no good. Couldn't read a book. Hmm. Couldn't read a word, sorry. Shame, too, from the same time as Moonstar. Might tell me more of a sacred stone. Hmm. Okay, so it is a sacred... If oh, God, sword, so stone, whatever. If it's not a code or cipher, then perhaps it is magic that prevents the words from being read. Yes. Magic, he says. Interesting. Intriguing. Yes, yes. And there was silly old Bali tuning in every which way and done all these years, squinting and straining in. <laughs> I don't want to know what she does with the tiki hees. Well, if it's magic that's stopping the silly, silly thing from being read, you'll need Lily's help. Dear little Lily, such a clever girl. All right. All right, let's go and show it to her. Can't go back to my kingdom now. Would you mind if we borrow it for a while? Oh, go ahead, dear. Bali has no use for the silly old squiggly old thing. Horrible head, hurdy stone you own. Hmm. But do come back and tell her what it says when you work it out, won't you, dearies? Bali will be waiting. Ta ta for now. Uh, I love Bali though. Bali's something else. Okay. Hello. Master Evan, it's good to see you. Can I help you in some way? As a matter of fact, you can. What do you make of this? What's that? Hmm. Let me see now. Yeah, girl, what's it say? Intriguing. It's protected with the charm of encryption. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Can you remove it, Lily? Of course, it's not so clear as to be on my skills, but I shall need some sea and, sea and sand. Oh, and where we might find that? It was once quite commonly found in the dry lands. Alas, I hear that it has been somewhat difficult to come, by come by as of late. The dry lands, you say? You mean to go yourself? Then let me mark the place where it could be found on your map. Let me see now. Here, and here, and there. All done. Thank, Thank you, Lily. We're bringing you our singing sand right away. See ya. Take care. The desert can be a dangerous place. Alright, so we gotta go to Drylands and find some singing sand. But we're actually gonna end this episode right here, you guys. We finally got Ding Dong Dell and all the other nations to sign the interdependence. But alas, the horned one has now finally risen. And we're now gonna try to find the sword or wand, Mornstar, but I'm pretty sure it's the sword. They're saying it's a sword this time. 
So we gotta find the location of where Moonstar is. And if you guys are excited for that part, please hit that like, subscribe button down there below. And with all that sweet nonsense out of the way, it's been Pixie from ABG, also known as Abnormal Black Girls. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and Merry Christmas!